Hello students, how are you all? Welcome to Affairs Cloud, Learn to Lead. My name is Vikas Rana. So students, we have an app by the name Careers Cloud which you can go and download through the Play Store for Android phones. Once you have downloaded and logged in with your Gmail ID, you will be transferred to your home page where you can see all the courses that are offered by us. Once you have purchased the course, you can see your courses in the My Course section. But why our courses are so better? Why we think we provide you one of the best content? Because we provide you content on daily basis. In the daily basis, we provide you current affairs with 20 questions quiz as well as the PDF of the current affairs of daily. Then similarly for weekly, on weekly basis, we provide you current affairs PDF as well as a 50 questions quiz that will help you to revise all the content that you have learned. Then on monthly basis also, we provide you top 100 current affair questions PDF that will be the compiled PDF of the 100 questions of that particular month that will be very helpful for you. And not just this friends, we provide you in English as well as in Hindi too. So both English and Hindi students can enjoy our courses. Apart from this friends, we also provide you banking related question answers, the banking related MCQ questions, the quizzes that will help you prepare for the bank exams. Not just that friends, we provide you a new way of learning that is your infotainment infographics that is a different and interesting way of learning. Apart from this, we cover 20 topic wise current affairs. These topics are important such as apps portals, important days, books and authors days, uh, national affairs, international affairs, sports, defense, all these topics, these are highly important and questions from these particular topics are asked. Also, we cover state-wise current affairs also that will help you to prepare for your state exams. Also friends, as I told you, if you use the code VIKAS10, you will be given extra 10% discount on the purchase you make. If you have any problem regarding login and your application, then you can contact us on support at the rate of affairscloud.com this is our email id and you can contact us on our mobile phone that is 9677333386 hello students how are you all i hope you are all good so students in this video we will be discussing important current affairs of 6th of october the session will be very important so do pay attention till the end first Yesterday, I gave you some homework questions. So, Suranj Sinha has given all the correct answers and you can see that he is also seeing a lot of improvement after daily revision that we are doing on daily basis. So, it will help you students if you are doing and following the steps that I am telling you. Just watch the video, do make the notes, do your homework daily that I am giving you at the end of the video. Do revise the current affairs, then go and attempt the quiz that we are providing in our application because it will help you to retain the content because on daily basis, we are seeing 15 to 20 new current affairs, new news that you are being taught about. So basically to remember these things and it is not just you are doing current affairs on daily basis. Apart from this, you are also catering many other subjects such as your science also, other parts of GS also, then the respective subject that you are doing, then banking and awareness current affairs also, banking related questions also, then you are taking care of it. So the, that becomes a huge number of content that you are studying on daily basis. So in order to revise them, in order to remember them, you need to focus and do those questions regularly. All right, so congratulations Suran Sina and best of luck for your future. Now let's revise some of the current affairs one liners and then we'll proceed to the news of today. First is World Physiotherapy Day. When do we observe this? It is observed on 8th of September with the theme prevention and management of osteoarthritis. All right, I repeat World Physiotherapy Day is observed on 8th of September with the theme prevention and management of Arthritis. Osteoarthritis. Then on 9th of September, International Day to Protect Education from Attack. 11th of September is observed as National Forest Martyrs Day. On 11th only, Vinoba Bhave's birth anniversary is observed. Then All India Institute of Ayurveda, that is AIIA, has launched the Ayurveda Day 2022 program. 14th of September observed as Hindi Divas. On 15th, International Day of Democracy is observed with the theme Importance of Media Freedom to Democracy, Peace and Delivering on the Sustainable Development Goals. This day is very important. When do we observe Hindi Divas? On 14th of September. Then, on 15th of September, 
ingenious day is observed on 16th of september world ozone day is observed with the theme global cooperation protecting life and earth why i am suggesting you to remember this ozone days because you are seeing that a lot of changes in the atmosphere because of global warming so there is a there can be a question that can be asked that when do we observe ozone day on 16th of september next jharkhand it became the third state to have food security atlas government shares in total health expenditure has increased india they have launched joint white paper on urban waste water scenario in india with denmark union minister jitendra singh has launched swachhta portal air india to be rebranded as ai we have discussed this just is for a quick revision election commission of india they launched blo e patrika india and madagascar have signed mou on training of diplomats another thing i need you to focus on who will be doing training of diplomats and which two countries have signed an mou for this it is india and madagascar one more thing friends that i need to tell you regarding the content that we provide you say for example we are providing you pocket wise pdf we are providing you topic wise current affairs we are providing you weekly current affairs we are providing you monthly current affairs pdf also top 100 questions pdf so remember pocket wise uh, pocket pdf and your topic wise pdf they will be released on the 7th of every month all right on the 7th then weekly they are provided to you every 7 days all right we make sure that every 7 days you are provided with weekly current affairs for monthly and top 100 questions remember on 10th of every month or before the 10th of every month you will be provided with the monthly current affairs pdf all right friends the important thing that i want to mention here is that we provide content in english as well as in hindi to all the students who are looking for the content of pdf in hindi because i have seen many times the students are asking for hindi pdf the content in hindi so students for those students those who are looking for hindi content you can check our careers cloud application from where you can download the uh, from the google store you can download the app and from that particular application careers cloud application you will be able to see various courses that are offered by us and in those courses we offer you hindi pdf along with english content also all right so the students those who are aiming for hindi content they can definitely check our hindi pdfs also that are provided on the courses that are offered by us on our careers cloud application and another information to all our students and viewers that remember friends when you are preparing for ibps rrb you need to understand that our content that we provide you on our application you will be seeing various different kinds of PD, pdfs that will be very beneficial for you for the preparation of this particular exam the content that is provided by us is up to the mark it is top notch content all right when you will be going through the content not just that content if you are also watching our videos and you are then going for the revision in our careers cloud application then you will realize that the process of learning that you are going through first you are watching the video then you are making notes then after that you are going for attempting the quiz also you are reading the pdf that we are providing so this whole process this whole journey will be very beneficial for you and along with the current affairs along with the questions that we are providing for ibps exams are very beneficial to all the students so i'll highly recommend to go and check this exam pdf that will be very 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 beneficial to all the students and i assure you that the material that is provided there is top notch then if we talk about india india has ranked third at the international astronomy olympiad south korea has break its on record for the world's longest fertility lowest fertility rate External Affairs Minister Dr S Jayashankar attended the 8th India Brazil Joint Commission meeting. South Korea signed a 2.25 billion dollar deal with Russian nuclear company. Mac Rutherford became the youngest person to fly solo around the world. Gautam Adani he became the third richest person in the world. Remember he also became the second richest of person in the world but now again he is on the third position. On first he will be Elon Musk Jeff Bezos was second and now Gautam Adani is on the third he is the richest asian as well as he is the richest indian also and if we talk about 
मुकेश अंबानी ही हैज स्लिप डाउन टू द इलेवेंथ पोजिशन दैट मीन्स ही इज नॉट इवन इन द टॉप टेन रिचेस्ट पर्सन इन द वर्ल्ड नाउ ऑल राइट सो दीज वर ऑल यूर करंट अफेयर्स वन लाइनर्स नाउ मूव टू द इम्पॉर्टेंट न्यूज ऑफ द डे दीज न्यूज आर इम्पॉर्टेंट फ्रेंड्स सो डू पे अटेंशन एंड ऑल्सो आई सजेस्ट यू टू मेक नोट्स ऑल राइट दीज इम्पॉर्टेंट करंट अफेयर्स ऑल नो वेन यू आर मेकिंग नोट्स यू विल रिवाइज दैम इन योर लेटर टाइम पीरियड वेन एग्जाम्स विल बी नियर यू विल बी एबल टू रिवाइज दैम easily that is the reason i am suggesting you to make notes all right so let's start with the first news that there was an mou that was signed between two organization to boost the millets all right i repeat we know that year 2023 will be celebrated as the international year of the millets so in order to boost that in order to create awareness about that in order to create awareness and promote millet based products all right on the sidelines of the international year of the millets that will be the year 2023 two organization that is department of agriculture and farmers welfare along with nafe that will be your national agriculture cooperative marketing federation of india limited nafe d it should be all right nafed so these two organization i repeat the department of agriculture and farmers welfare along with nafed that is your national agriculture cooperative marketing federation of india limited these two organization has came up and signed an mou and this mou will be helping to raise awareness about the promotion of millet based products on the sidelines of the international year of the millets 2023 question can be asked that which year has been declared as the year of millets so the year 2023 has been declared as the year of millets also the question can be asked this celebration is done by whom so it was proposed by government of india to the united nations that we can celebrate 2023 as the year of millets as we know millets is a very rigid crop you can grow it anywhere it does not require a large amount of nutrients in the soil and it is very handy crop you can grow them very easily that is one of the most important point of this crop and it is very nutritious as well as fibrous also remember both these entities that is both these organization df and w and nafed they both will build support they will organize they will help to promote the market and forge the effective market linkages for the millet based products to maximize the millet based commodities across india they will also collect they will also collaborate in various areas like facilitating advisory support in the manufacturing of millet based products they will help us on boarding of startups also all right training the startups they will help in formation of the fpos that is your food processing organizations all right highly important take a note of it if we talk about it on 5th of march 2021 during the ung that is your united nation general assembly india's initiative to promote the millet was supported by 72 other countries and then and there itself it was declared that year 23 will be observed as the international year of the millets if we talk about nafed this was established in 1958 who will be the where will be the headquarter it is in new delhi and who is the chairman dr bijendra singh is the current chairman of nafed that is national agriculture cooperative marketing federation of india limited next news important news government has recently approved 26000 crore rupees to set up 25000 new telecom towers as you can see these are the towers that help us to transmit the data or it help us to transmit the data from your mobile phone from your internet or from your mobile from to different mobile from the call that you are able to make is because of this tower only all right because if there will be signal if there will be a receiver then only you will be able to make a call and it has a specified region area all right that means if it, when this is pointed this is you can consider it as a center of the circle and there will be a certain radius for which this will be applicable all right so the digital india conference and of state it ministers this was inaugurated by prime minister narendra modi that took place in new delhi from 1st to 3rd of october under the chairmanship of union minister ashwini vaishnav this was done and during this the conference during the conference featured the national launch of the 5g also we have seen and what is the use of 5g 5g is a very high speed internet one of the important reasons you can uh, understand is that now earlier what used to happen is the processors were also given along with the devices so that all the computing can be done on the 
a hardware only all right using the internet but now what we are seeing is all the hardware all the important processing are done at a certain locations but with the help of internet you are just provided with a certain controls that you can do this and this with the help of the high speed internet all right earlier if you remember there was used to be game that you will be playing game with the help of the CDs, with the help of the compact disc that you are provided on your PlayStation. But now we will be seeing in future that all the games will be provided on the server itself. And with the help of internet, you can use the high speed internets to retrieve that game and play them online itself from your devices. All right, so this will be one of the important and high impact of 5G technology on India. If you want to operate drones like Varuna drone was recently launched by the government of India. So if we want to opt, uh, use certain drones, UAVs in a certain location with the help of this 5G technology, we will be able to them use them very easily. This is just an example of it. All right. Use case can be in education, health, work, safety, smart agriculture and many other things. Along with this conference, the sixth India mobile conference 2022 was also Convented. All right. Also remember, the government of India has allocated how much amount? Twenty six thousand crore rupees to install twenty five thousand new telecom towers, and this will be done in five hundred days. All right. Next news. SRS statistical report of twenty twenty two or twenty twenty was released in which female IMR in India falls the to the same level as male IMR. What is IMR? Infant mortality rate. So according to the statistical report of 2020, female infant mortality rate in India has fallen to the same level as that of the male. All right. So sample registration system statistical report of 2020 issued by the Ministry of Home Affairs of the Registrar General and Census Commissioner of India. The IMR for males and females in India finally equalized in 2020. IMR that is your infant mortality rates by sex and residence India and bigger states for 2020. Here you can see if we talk about the mortality rate, the total mortality rate if we talk about for India and bigger union territories. In this we used to see that earlier the mortality rate for females, the infant mortality rate for females was a little bit uh, higher but due to the education and due to the changing of the scenarios due to the modernization in and the coming up of western culture and people are getting more educated awareness is being created by the government with various schemes also like beti bachao beti padao andolan and different schemes that are coming in the rural areas that is helping and creating awareness among the people so that they do not the give do the genocide all right infanticide is not done so you can see that now the change is seen and the data in the change can be seen in the data also of the statistical report for 2020 where you can see the both the infant mortality rate of male and female have equalized all right highly important mark this if asked that how this infant mortality rate is calculated so remember imr is the number of infant deaths for every 1000 live births i repeat for every 1000 live births how many infant deaths are there that is your imr all right next if we talk about the state that is having the maximum or the highest imr it is your madhya pradesh and the least is in kerala the least is in kerala all right next then one more thing you can remember here that in 20 we saw that where were two state where both the male and female rates were equivalent almost equivalent if we talk about them then we can say in Uttarakhand in Uttarakhand we saw that both the male and female mortality rate infant mortality rate were almost equal next Next is Kerala's Pulampara became the first fully digital literate panchayat in India. Important take a note of it. I repeat, Kerala's Pulampara became the first fully digital literate panchayat of India. Question will be direct and simple that which is the first fully digital 
लिटरेट पंचायत इन इंडिया एंड वेयर इज दिस लोकेटेड इन विच स्टेट इट इज लोकेटेड वॉट इज द नेम ऑफ द स्टेट ऑल राइट सो इफ आस्ट देन पुलम्परा इज पंचायत बिकेम द फर्स्ट फुल्ली लिटरेट पंचायत इन इंडिया एंड इफ द नेम ऑफ द स्टेट इज आस्ट देन इट विल बी केरला दिस वॉज अचीव थ्रू डिजी पुलम्परा प्रोजेक्ट विच अंडर विच अराउंड थ्री थाउजेंड थ्री हंड्रेड रेजिडेंट्स बिटवीन द एज ग्रुप ऑफ फोर्टीन एंड सिक्सटी फाइव वर गिवन डिजिटल एजुकेशन और राइट हाईली इंपॉर्टेंट टेक अ नोट ऑफ दिस ऑल्सो ड्यूरिंग दिस ट्रेनिज वर टॉट टू यूज स्मार्टफोन फीचर्स सच एज डाउनलोडिंग हाउ टू डाउनलोड द पिक्चर्स हाउ टू यूज व्हाट्सएप हाउ टू मेक अ वीडियो कॉल एंड अ नॉर्मल वॉइस कॉल ऑल राइट दे वर इंट्रोड्यूस टू द फेसबुक एंड यूट्यूब टेक्नोलॉजी ऑल्सो दैट विद द हेल्प ऑफ यूट्यूब यू विल बी एबल टू सी मल्टीपल एम्प एन नंबर ऑफ वीडियोज ऑल राइट दे वर ऑल्सो ट्रेन टू चेक देयर बैंक अकाउंट यूजिंग द इंटरनेट बैंकिंग दैट हाउ कैन यू इंस्टेड ऑफ गोइंग टू द बैंक यू कैन ऑल्सो डो डू ऑल दो सर्विस ऑन योर मोबाइल एप्लीकेशन इट सेल्फ ऑल्सो रिमेंबर इफ वी टॉक अबाउट केरला केरला वॉज द फर्स्ट इंडियन स्टेट टू अटेन हंड्रेड परसेंट लिटरेसी एंड मेक द इंटरनेट अ बेसिक ह्यूमन राइट Next, Amit Shah. Amit Shah has announced the ST status for the Pahadi Committee in Jammu and Kashmir. Highly important that Union Home Minister Amit Shah announced the Scheduled Tribe status for the Pahadi Committee in Jammu and Kashmir at a rally in Rajouri, Jammu and Kashmir. The committee will get the ST reservation benefits of the completion of the administrative processes. Next, Defence Ministry has approved renaming of the Faizabad. Kent as the Ayodhya Kent. I repeat, Defence Minister Rajnath Singh has approved the proposal to change the name of the Faizabad Cantonment to the Ayodhya Kent in UP. Highly important. Earlier there was another change of the name, such as uh, Rajpath was renamed to Kartavya Path. Allahabad was renamed to Prayagraj. All right. Then Mughal Sarai Railway Junction was also renamed to Pandit Dindyal Upadhyay Junction. So these are some of the renaming that you need to. remember next rpf railway protection force has took many focused operations during the month of september 2022 to fulfill the railway protection force pledge that is seva hi sankalp the month long drive code name samsar that is your samajik sarokar this drive consist of elements of several major operations like seva operation dignity nanne farishte jeevan raksha and maitri shakti these were concluded in september so you question asked that seva project dignity project nanne farishte jeevan raksha or maitri shakti which is the organization that launched these projects or these it were launched by railway protection force around 9000 passengers in need of help were assisted during the train journey by railway protection force all right railway protection force worked selflessly to provide timely intervention under the code name operation dignity and secured 427 adults out of which there were 223 men and 204 women all right highly important and if we talk about operation nanne farishte as the name suggests nanne farishte is basically for small children so around 1119 small children were rescued under this project operation nanne farishte all right highly important so you need to remember these names question can be asked that these projects were launched by which force so it was they were launched by railway protection force next next news the directly question will be asked in one liner format that who represented india during the 77th edition of the united nation general assembly so he was our external affairs minister dr s jay shankar that was on his 10 day visit to the united states of america to strengthen the cooperation on regional and global issues then you can say he was the indian delegation who represented india at the 77th edition of the united nation general assembly and where was this assembly session took place it was in united nation uh, it was in your new york and where is new york new york is in usa as we know the headquarter of united nation general assembly is in new york itself so then and there itself this 77th edition of the united nation general assembly was taken place by our external affairs minister dr s jayshankar then you need to remember the theme on which this particular 77th edition of the united nation general assembly was being 
taken ho was being taken place it was a watershed moment transformative solutions to interlocking challenges i repeat the theme for this united nation general assembly is a watershed moment transformative solutions to interlocking challenges all right next ifs ifc what is ifc international finance corporation they have launched a financing platform to respond to global food crisis we know that all around the world we are seeing food crisis and this food crisis is increasing because of the climate change we are seeing we saw that in europe we are facing high amount of or high levels of droughts then we saw that india and pakistan also saw the high amount of heat wave even pakistan was facing drought season but randomly we can see after that they faces high flood all right one third of the pakistan was submerged into water not just this even china you will see china's yangtze river that is one of the largest river has also been dried up and because of this we are seeing a huge amount of food crisis all around the world the amount of food we used to grow earlier has became less and not just this even the war that was ukraine war uh, that is between in ukraine and russia has also impacted the food chain all around the world a large portion of the wheat used to be exported from these countries so that wheat has been export of that wheat was stopped because of the war and then even not just this friends these countries used to export high amount of urea to different parts of the world and because of the that you will be seeing the world is facing a less amount of urea and they want because urea is basically will help to increase the produce that will help to increase the production of the crops so all these things are leading up to a global food crisis so that is the reason international finance corporation that is your ifc world banks private sector investment arm this ifc is the world banks private sector investment arm and where is the headquarter of world bank it is in washington dc all right they has launched a new financing facility worth 6 billion dollar to strengthen the private sector's ability to respond to the global food crisis and support the food production highly important all right this will also focus on long term actions to improve the resilience in food ecosystem and reduce the climate and ecological footprint all right so coming back IFC that is a department or it is an arm of World Bank they have launched the financing platform to respond to global food crisis that is going on next national payment corporation of india and central bank of oman has signed a memorandum of understanding to launch india's rupee debit card in oman i repeat india's national payment corporation of india that is your npci along with central bank of oman they signed a memorandum of understanding so that the rupee debit card can be used in the oman highly important friends directly what you need to remember npci central bank of oman they signed mou why they want because india wants to launch their rupee debit card in oman under the ushering in the new era of financial connectivity that means indian rupee or indian rupee debit card will be used now in the market of oman the proposal came after india and oman agreed to expand their indian digital payment ecosystem to the gulf regions now highly important this mou will set the stage for indian rupee cards and upi platform in oman to facilitate the seamless digital remittances which will benefit indian workers and professionals next adani enterprise announced the establishment of two new subsidiaries highly important take a note of this all right and these two new subsidiaries are adani disruptive ventures limited that is advl that is a wholly owned subsidiary and alvar alluvial resources limited these two are the adani enterprise subsidies the missions of advl that is your adani disrupted ventures limited is to partner with businesses and entrepreneurs who are looking to create solutions through the disruptive technology and help them increase their ventures all right highly important and if we talk about aarl that is your alvar alluvial resources limited this will take over the manufacturing and the processing of the minerals the product of the pigments and titanium ox dioxide slag and other incidental activities related to these as is the name suggests alluvial resources so it will taking care in the field of or it will be working in the field of mineral resources 
सो दीज आर द टू न्यू सब्सिडरीज ऑफ अडानी ग्रुप दैट यू नीड टू रिमेंबर कमिंग टू द नेक्स्ट गूगल गूगल इज टू बिल्ड इट्स फर्स्ट क्लाउड रीजन इन ग्रीस एंड आई हैव टोल्ड यू क्लाउड इज नॉट जस्ट योर एटमोस्फेरिक क्लाउड्स वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट इट इज अ सेटअप दैट विल हेल्प यू टू स्टोर डाटा और यू कैन से दीज आर द डाटा सेंटर वेयर मल्टीपल प्रोसेस विल बी सेटअप एंड विद द हेल्प ऑफ दोज प्रोसेस दोज सर्विस विल बी प्रोवाइडेड टू मल्टीपल ऑनलाइन प्लेटफॉर्म्स सो एल्फाबेट इन कॉरपोरेशन दैट इज ऑफ गूगल विल सेटअप द फर्स्ट क्लाउड रीजन इन ग्रीस a cloud region usually is based around a cluster of data centers the investment would enable organizations to better use their data help improve low latency and ensure user security in the face of cyber security threats this deal is estimated to contribute around 2.2 billion dollar to greece economy and output and create around 20000 jobs by the year 2030 in if we talk about the cloud sector there are some important companies that you need to remember that is your aws amazon web service then for microsoft it is azure and for google it is your gcp that is your google cloud platform moving on to sports news next we are talking about mumtaz khan she has received the fih rising star of the year award for 21 22 as you can see here in the picture she is from lucknow she is from lucknow up all right state can be asked that mumtaz khan is from which state she is from up so recently federation international the hockey has conferred mumtaz khan with the fih rising star of the year award for 21 22 all right highly important remember this next if we talk about the rising star of the year for men he was timothy Clementi all right of France was conferred with the rising star of the year 21 22 in the men's category and in the female category she was Mumtaz Khan of Lucknow UP who was awarded with this particular award highly important next next is former german chancellor angela merkel has won the un refugee agency prize if we talk about it this particular award that is un refugee agency prize This particular award is presented to recognize the leadership courage and compassion in the ensuring the protection of hundreds of thousands of vulnerable people and that is the reason Angela Merkel was awarded with this award she is the former german chancellor and she was awarded with this award because uh because no, she was providing asylum to more than 1.2 million refugees and asylum seekers in 2015 and 16 during the Syrian crisis and because of this only Dr Angela Merkel has won the 2022 United Nation High Commissioner for Refugees award highly important mark this one right friends you need to know that why and who was awarded with this UNHRC Nansen Refugee Award so she was former german chancellor as you can see here in the picture angela markel and she has won the un refugee agency prize that is your united nations nansen refugee award if we talk about this award it was established in 1954 after a norwegian explorer scientist diplomat and humanitarian fridtjof nansen all right he was the first high commissioner of the refugees and he was awarded the 192022 nobel peace prize for his efforts to repatriate prisoners of war and protect millions of refugees of the romanov ottoman and austro-hungarian empires so coming back friends why she was awarded she was awarded because she has worked and she has provided asylum to more than 1.2 million refugees and asylum seekers in 2015 and 16 during the syrian crisis the year 2022 marked a century since fridtjof nansen was awarded the nobel prize in 1922 all right it is also the 100 years since the creation of the nansen's passport and identity document for the refugees that enable its holders to move across the borders in search of work This award ceremony will be organized where it will be organized in Geneva, Switzerland on 10th of October 2022. It will recognize leadership, courage, compassion in ensuring and protection of hundreds of thousands of vulnerable people. Highly important friends mark this. Next, next we are talking about India Expo Center and Mart in the Greater Noida backs the best convention center award. I repeat, the India Expo Center and Mart 
in the Greater Noida of Uttar Pradesh was awarded with the Best Standalone Convention Center Award by the Ministry of Tourism. The award was conferred during the National Tourism Award of 2022 ceremony that was held at Vigyan Bhavan, New Delhi. All right. Highly important. Take a note of it. Next. Next is former Brigadier B D Mishra has sworn in as the Governor of Meghalaya. So who has been appointed as the new Governor of Meghalaya? Former Brigadier B D Mishra has been appointed as the new Governor of Meghalaya. Here you can see the former Brigadier of Indian Army took the additional charge as the Governor of Meghalaya as a function. at the durbar hall of raj bhavan in shillong he will succeed satya pal malik whose tenure ends on 3rd of october 2022 the oath for the same was administered by the acting chief of justice of meghalaya justice hamarsan singh thangjikev all right also remember he has been serving as the arunachal pradesh governor since 2017 next firebolt Firebolt that is India's number one wearable watch brand has appointed Kiara Advani as the Indian actress who is a very famous model as well as Indian actress who will be the new brand ambassador of this number one wearable watch brand Firebolt I repeat Firebolt has appointed whom as their brand ambassador Kiara Advani all right so you can see kiara advani will be a part of the marketing campaign of the brand alongside cricket icon virat kohli and indian actor vicky kaushal so apart from kiara advani firebolt has also appointed virat kohli and vicky kaushal as their brand ambassadors next next we are talking about some acquisitions remember cci has approved the amalgamation of zeal bpl with culver max entertainment with some modification i repeat you need to remember that the competition commission of india that is your cci has approved the amalgamation of the z entertainment enterprise limited that is your z and bangla entertainment private limited that is your bepl will the cme that is your culver max entertainment private limited that were earlier known as the sony pictures network private limited as a part of the sony group with some modification so who has am uh, amalgamated with whom so z and bpl has amalgamated with cme mark this all right it will be important it will be a direct question that you need to remember from this next we are talking about a new species of catfish discovered from the kaveri river that was pangaeus icaria i repeat this is the name of the new species of fish catfish new species of the catfish that was discovered from the kaveri river it is your pangaeus icaria here you can see scientists from the national bureau of fish genetic resources and icar indian council of agriculture research have discovered new catfish species of the genus pangaeus that was named pangaeus icaria all right where was this discovered this was discovered from the kaveri river can you tell me where is kaveri river so we can remember and i have told you given you the homework also that where is metu dam located it is located in tamil nadu and on which river is this metu dam located it is located on the kaveri river so from here only you need to remember this new species of catfish was discovered next next we are talking about iran iran has launched a test tug into the sub orbital space i repeat iran tested a space tug which is capable of shifting satellites between orbits the saman test spacecraft was built by iran space research center and launched by the defense ministry of iran a space tug is a type of a spacecraft that is used to transfer space bound cargo from one orbit to another orbit with different energy characteristics all right iran unveiled this saman test aircraft in 2017 a space tug can transfer a satellite from one orbit to another and iran has launched a solid fuel rocket into space also in 2022 so this test tug was into space orbital or this to uh, transfer a space bound cargo from one orbit to another is your tug and it was launched by iran next we are talking about asian games so 2029 asian winter games will be host hosted by which country it will be hosted by saudi arabia so on 4th of october 2022 the 41st olympic council of asia general assembly has chosen saudi arabia to host the 2029 asian winter games highly important and for this country will be provided with 500 billion 
डॉलर न्यूम फ्यूचरिस्टिक मेगा सिटी प्रोजेक्ट ऑल्सो इफ यू रिमेंबर वॉट इज दिस न्यूम फ्यूचरिस्टिक मेगा सिटी प्रोजेक्ट दिस इज ऑल्सो नोन बाय द नेम लाइन इट इज अ लाइन इन द डेजर्ट दैट विल बी अ पॉल्यूशन फ्री सिटी दैट विल हैव नो ट्रांसपोर्ट इट विल ऑल द फैसिलिटीज विल बी प्रोवाइडेड अंडर दिस पर्टिकुलर लाइन सिटी ओनली एंड इट विल हैव अ बाउंड बॉर्डर्स ऑफ ग्लास सो दैट इट विल बी अ रिफ्लेक्टिव ग्लास एंड इट विल बी वर्किंग ऑन द रिन्यूएबल सोर्सेज ऑफ एनर्जी एज वेल एज ऑल द वेस्ट दैट विल बी जनरेटेड इन दिस सिटी इन दिस पर्टिकुलर डेजर्ट वेर दिस सिटी विल बी बिल्ड इट विल बी रीयूज इन द पर्टिकुलर प्रोसेस बाय द सिटी इट्स अल्फ ऑल राइट इट विल बी अ वेरी फ्यूचरिस्टिक सिटी आई एल सजेस्ट यू टू जस्ट गो पॉज द वीडियो एंड गो टू द यूट्यूब एंड सर्च अबाउट दिस न्यूम सिट फ्यूचरिस्टिक सिटी दैट इज बिंग बिल्ड बाय Saudi Arabia it will be a very interesting concept it is a concept it has not been started as of now but is an interesting concept on which this city is being based next we are talking some important days world teachers day is observed on 5th of october highly important friends take a note of this all right so unesco's world teacher day is observed on 5th of october to celebrate and honor the teachers for their contribution to the students so theme of the world teachers day is the transformation of education begins with teachers can you tell me when do we observe teachers day in india we observe this on the memory of dr s radhakrishnan that is sarvapalli radhakrishnan but you need to tell me the date on which we observe the national teachers day here we are talking about world teachers day that is being observed by unesco all right on 5th of october then friends that's all for the day these are some important current affairs one liners that will go and revise ones mou was signed between dfw and nafad to promote millet based products as the year 2023 will be the year of international year of millets digital india conference of state it ministers was held along with the launch of 5g srs statistical report of 2020 was released where the female infant mortality rate is similar to that of male infant mortality rate kerala's pulampara became the first fully digital literate panchayat in india amit shah announced the st status for pahadi community in jammu and kashmir defense ministry approved the renaming of faizabad kent and ayodhya kent rpf railway protection force undertook many focused operations during the month of september 2020 Two. Some highlights of the uh, external affairs ministers S Jay Shankar visited to USA where he attended the 77th un edition of the United Nations General Assembly that was held in New York. Then IFC launches the financing platform to respond to global food crisis. National Payment Corporation of India and Central Bank of Oman has signed an MOU to launch India's Rupee debit card in Oman. Adani Enterprises announced the establishment of two new subsidiaries. Google to build the first cloud region in Greece. FIH conferred India's Mumtaz Khan who is from uh, Uttar Pradesh as the FIH rising star of the year in men's category for 21-22 award. Former German Chancellor Angela Merkel has been awarded with the UN Refugee Agency prize. India Expo Center and Mart in Greater Noida has won the Best Convention Center award. Important take a note. Next former brigadier B D Mishra taken takes the charge of the additional uh, charge of the Meghalaya's governor. Then Sanjeev Kishor has taken over as the director general of Ordnance. Firebolt appointed Kiara Advani as their new brand ambassador. C C I has approved the amalgamation of Zeal B E P L with Culver Max Entertainment Limited. Scientists of I C A R N N B F G R has discovered new catfish. in kaveri river and that is built uh, on which metro dam is built and from where tamil nadu that was named as pegasus icaria then iran has tested their tug into the suborbital space saudi arabia to host the 2029 asian winter games in the new sky resort and the world teachers day is observed on 5th of october it is being observed by unesco all around the world so that's all for the day friends now it's time for your homework What is the name of the first indigenously developed light compact helicopter we have discussed this yesterday second which union ministry is associated with uva 2.0 scheme third swachh bharat divas is celebrated on which date in india fourth what is the minimum net worth of regional ruler banks to be eligible to list on the stock exchanges fifth which state won the first prize under the last states category under swachh sarvekshan gramin 2020 So these are your five homework question friends 
no cheating do your own research if you don't know any answer just go to the google and start researching your own because copying won't help you you won't be able to remember things so it won't be a beneficial thing so you have to do your homework yourself and you can see the changes in the long term so that's all for the day friends thank you and have a nice day that's all for the day friends i hope you enjoyed the session and you can follow us on the youtube channel as well as apart from youtube channel you can go and follow us at affairs cloud telegram channel and if you have any queries related to the content or the of courses offered to you or the payment which you did on the application you can contact us on the number provided that is 7677333862 apart from this friends you can follow us on the facebook as well as on instagram handle that is affairs cloud underscore official in the end friends if you use a code that is vikas10 you will be getting an additional extra 10% discount by using this code vikas10 also if you have any problem regarding the course purchase any problem regarding to our application you can contact us on the mobile number that is 9677333862 and if you want to mail us you can also mail us on support@affairscloud.com and i assure you that our representative from us will be contacting you soon and resolving your issue